traits that we should leave in 2020 the pompousness the pompousness to believe that i need to cut people off if somebody is celebrating oh yeah just join them i mean uh, do you know you guys could have spent this money or something else it's the social injustice warrior in all of us to really get angry when we see these types of people <laughs> Yo, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Fajiro and you are watching Fajiro Talks. In this episode of Fajiro Talks, I'm going to be talking about traits that we should leave in 2020. Yes, I mean traits. And I'm not actually necessarily talking about toxic traits. You know, everybody knows the big red flag toxic traits. I'm talking about the traits that they come underneath the surface, they creep up on you, you don't really necessarily realize that you're doing it, but then when it builds up over time, you're like, oh my God, am I not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. <laughs> and it's just time, it's time for us to like put the light switch on for some of these traits. And actually, it, there's, some of them are attitudes, some of them are lifestyles, some of them are the, just the way we subconsciously think. And I feel like these are nasty and we should definitely leave them in 2020. But if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, especially that notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop a new video on your timeline. And let's get into the video. So the very first trait I feel like we should leave in 2020. And I feel like this came up because of the pandemic. And I understand why some people felt that way. But I feel like we have ditched this and we should ditch this. The pompousness the pompousness to believe that i need to cut people off if they haven't checked up on me during 2020 a lot of people had their own dilemmas this year darling you were not the center of their thoughts you were not the center of their worries you were not the center of their life people who feel like other people's lives revolve around them who feel like they are the center of the world who feel like if somebody hasn't talked to me in so long then oh my god they think I'm a bad friend, they think I'm this, they think I'm that, let me die, I just want to die, like, <laughs> bruh, there are some people who have been going through literally tremendously difficult situations during this whole entire year, and they have not had the time to pick up their phone and be on social media and send messages out and check up on other people, and it does not mean that that friendship has to dissolve, I feel like we should burn that idea burn that philosophy burn that thinking and in fact we should be friends that actually reach out to people if there is a noticeable gap in you know you not talking to someone you be the first person and reach out to that person and say hey you know i know it's been a very long time how are you doing what is going on in your life and can i do anything to help i feel like we should stop waiting for people to pop up to us and actually start doing the checking up on um in 2021 at least i feel like that's something that we can actively change and we can take responsibility for non-toxic trait number two was the insecurity projector and i see this a lot on social media it's not even insecurity projector i feel like at this point it's just the inability to celebrate someone else because of your current situation and i feel like it happens so much on social media that we've actually normalized this when you see couples celebrating their anniversary when you see somebody who's bought a house and a car somebody who's getting married somebody who's getting engaged somebody who's doing something that is worth celebrating you will see the naysayers if somebody is celebrating oh yeah just join them just join them don't be uh, mm, i mean uh, do you know you guys could have spent this money or something else like guys I uh -uh, calm down celebrate people celebrate their achievements if it's your turn to be celebrated you want people to actually take time comment leave love and leave support and celebrate you for the things that you're doing don't always be looking for faults because somebody is celebrating and i feel like that's such a toxic trait that our generation literally will laugh at like we will literally like look at somebody being dragged on social media for a celebration for an achievement and we'll be like oh my god that's so funny we need to cut it out no that's not something that we should take into 2021. Trait number three is actually something that I don't think a lot of people realize actually happens. And I don't know why this bothers me, but it's, it's, it bothers me some more, some more. It's not really toxic, but I just don't like the fact that we have this term self-made 
billionaire or self-made businesswoman or self-made businessman but i feel like nobody created success by themselves and i think curating an idea in our generation that you don't need to give credit i don't know you don't need to appreciate people that got you to the position that you are now you don't need to appreciate the friends that reposted your business or the people that actually bought from you like i feel like it's very toxic to think that one person can literally make their own success no you relied on a lot of things and i think it's time for us to start giving people credit where credit is due you know what i'm saying like start giving businesses or youtubers credit for motivating you and start just showing more appreciation to people that have brought you from point a to the point that you currently are now because you didn't do it by yourself baby that's for sure trait number four was the one that we all felt during this year the emotionally detached human being and i feel like it's the it's the social injustice warrior in all of us to really get angry when we see these types of people when i see or when it has been clear or made known that there are people that literally do not care have refused used to care maybe it's even governmental systems for example the end SARS movement when you saw like the authorities that literally had zero emotional attachment to what their people were facing that was the most disgusting thing the display of no emotion no regard to people's care to people's feelings about a certain social injustice and i feel like our generation is definitely so much more apt at thinking um on their feet and thinking about responses and thinking how we can react to certain situations even though we might be miles away thinking about petitions to sign thinking about things that we can stand behind and all of these things that we can do even in our own part of the world we can still be engaged and still be supporting people oh my god number five is the attitude of fear the attitude of being a small thinker the attitude of never thinking more of yourself because you are so so afraid to venture out outside of your comfort zone outside of your normal routine and think beyond you but i feel like a lot of us should get into the position of just believing in ourselves a little bit more having a little more courage I feel like fear is one of those things that we don't understand how to triumph over because we don't necessarily know what it is and I actually saw a reel of an amazing Christian influencer who was basically saying fear is negative faith it's literally another belief system so you can choose to believe in something that is literally going to negatively push you back to levels that you don't want to get to or actually believe in faith Put faith in yourself put faith in your abilities which will have positive reinforcements in pushing you to the person that you really want to become so i feel like in 2021 it's time to not be small thinkers anymore it's time to grow beyond your natural frame of thinking i think that's the last pet peeve of mine is people who don't dare to believe it's something that i'm continuously training myself to do every single day is actually have the audacity to believe in myself i know crazy like wow come on fajira how could you even do that my god have the audacity to believe in yourself yeah i feel like those are my five non-toxic but still annoying traits that have followed us throughout 2020 there's definitely a lot more than five and i definitely want to hear you guys in the comment section below on the twitter timeline on the on instagram timeline what were some of the things that you guys saw and you were like oh my god nah that's that's cancelled we should not take that to 2021 i want to hear it in the comment section below definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure like i said at the beginning to subscribe to this youtube channel especially hitting that notification bell so you you are notified every time i drop a video i'm releasing a lot more content during this festive period or whenever you get this video in your timeline i'm releasing a lot more content and i literally want you guys to just brace yourself because the ride is gonna be good i'll see you guys in my very next video bye